gotta go. So much better. <sighs> oh, shoot. No toilet paper! Oh, thank you so much. That's not toilet paper. What? It's just as good. Rimfire. We all grew up on it. It's fun. It's awesome to shoot. I've got a great little rimfire right here. But have air guns actually surpassed rimfires? That's what we're going to try to find out today. Stay tuned and check it out. All right, so the air gun that we're going to be using for this test is the Western Air Guns 357 Rattler. This is actually a semi-automatic air gun. So we're comparing a bolt action 22 long rifle to a semi-auto air gun, which is kind of interesting just in and of itself. Operates via loading this cylinder here and back, holds 15 shots, and we've got a nice fully shrouded and silenced gun here. This thing's really just about as quiet as the 22 over there, uh, even though we're shooting a 357 doing close to almost 300 foot-pounds with this bad boy right here. 22 long rifle is coming to us from Voodoo Gunworks. This is a very, very expensive bolt action 22 long rifle. These are running easily over $5,000 just for the gun. And that is on top of you're waiting about two years right now, far as the wait list, just to get your hands on one of these. So definitely we've got a top of the line uh, 22 long rifle, probably hard to find one that shoots any more accurately. Now, to keep things even, we're gonna go ahead and use the same scope on both of them. This ATN 5 to 20. That's gonna make it easy for me because I can record right there in the scope, but also it'll keep the uh, playing field even between our rimfire and our air gun today. We're gonna be shooting these Lapua Center X 22 long rifle rounds today. These I've been told are mega, mega accurate out of this guy right here. And our ammo of choice in the air gun is going to be some of these guys right here, the High Arc Hunter Slugs. These are 174, 175 grain, 357 hollow point slugs. Very different ammo than what we've got in the 22. And so I wanna let you guys know right up front, I know that. So you can let me know in the comments what you think about that. But I know that 357 slugs, 174, 175 grain is way different than a Lapua 22 long rifle round. What we're comparing today is not the ammo, but just the fact that air gun technology right here, air gun technology has either met or surpassed rimfire technology, even when you've got the top of the line, most awesome, most baddest to the bone rimfire that you can get. Uh, and maybe, you know, you could spend more on an air gun than this guy. This is an expensive air gun though. Don't get me wrong. This thing's like several thousand dollars, but you could buy two or more of these for the price of one of these guys right here. And I think that that guy right there is going to keep up with that guy right there pretty dang good. So I'm going to start off right here at 200 yards and we're going to see how it goes. 200 yards. So I've got this thing dialed in right on for 100 yards. And I'm just gonna kind of guess what I think the holdover is gonna be here for 200. Ha 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 Of course, of course, just my luck. The first shot literally hit at the very bottom of the metal plate and knocked it down. So now I have to walk all the 200 yards friggin' way back down there <sighs> and go fix that thing. Jiminy Christmas. All right, here we go. We got the plate set back up and we are gonna try our second shot at 200 yards. There it is. So we do have a little bit of a breeze going left to right, which explains for that left to right movement. And that is one heck of a drop at 200 yards. But look at
Look at that. I literally just stacked two shots. At 200 yards. Stacked them, boys. I think I'm gonna go ahead and correct for a 200 yard zero. Let's do that, bring it down. Now I should be just about zeroed at 200 yards. So just to, just for, sh for giggles, let's go ahead and see how close I got that. Yep, pretty dang close. That's awesome. 200 yards is like easy peasy with this thing. Oh man, that is so cool. All right, let's go out to 300. So, it is actually the next day now and it's considerably colder out. And we are at 301 yards right here. I'm really trying to get this long range done because I know it can be done. And we are gonna see where they hit here at 301 yards. So that's what we're doing. Let's get it going. Look at this. Nice. Let's see, can we find some lead? Any lead around here? Ha, here's one. There we go. That's some pretty good spread for 300 yards. That's what it's doing to the slugs at 300. Pretty awesome. Putting some pretty good impacts here in the steel as well. So you can see I was really smacking up the body pretty good there. And then I started going for headshots. I think I got these here and maybe that one there. Didn't get a dead center headshot, but for 300 yards, that is awesome, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing repainted and I'm gonna move it on back up the hill there because I believe in this. I believe we are actually gonna be able to legitimately be smacking at 400 yards today with an air gun. In fact, I think I'm even gonna set out a spray paint can for this right now. Um, after, hopefully I can even get it to work because the spray paint can was turning into a dud. I mean, so hopefully, ugh, hopefully this thing's even gonna work because there's a ton of paint left in there but it's just like ran out of air or something. I don't know, it's not working great. So let's see, can we do this? First of all, oh, look at that. We got no action on our spray can. No action. All right, so we've got this set up. Don't ask me how these cow turds got here. I don't know, they just appeared here. I, I definitely uh, did not touch those. No, that's not what that was. Anyways, we got our dud can and I repainted the target so we'll be able to see our hits and we're going straight to 400. We are going all the way. It's up, up on that hill out there way up there got bear with me here today say hi bear oh, hi, boys. good boy he's such a good boy i love this dog he's just hanging out we're doing some filming some shooting oh buddy don't drink my coffee though definitely don't do that all right so here i am i'm gonna post up here in the back of my truck at 400 yards there's the target all the freaking way down there way way down there keep zooming there it is 400 yards down there that's a ways and it's starting to get more windy so i got to get set up quick here get this done
I hope you all heard that. That was a hit at 400 yards. And I am aimed at the absolute bottom of my scope. Oh yeah. Solid hit. Solid hit. Hit. Oh, I don't know what I hit that time, but it popped pretty good. That time I got the spray paint. I could see the red mist. All right, well, here we are back down here at the target. You can see that we were smacking this guy, mostly towards the bottom. And I think a lot of that uh, dust I saw flying was uh, cow turd dust, so that's kind of funny. But we've got clearly one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten good visible smacks on the steel down at 400 yards. And, and that's not even that big of a spread there for 400 yards. I mean, that shows that this can clearly be done. What the heck? Look at this. I think I can see more than 100 yards in this. I can't even see more than like 50 yards, depending on which direction you look right now. This is pretty bad. <sighs> it rained all night. I came out here this morning, got up bright and early. I saw it was foggy, but I just thought, man, it's going to clear up. The sun's going to come out. This fog is going to clear and here we are. So I'm just down here getting the target set up because I really want to get this done for you guys. I want to get some long range shooting accomplished and I've been working on it for a couple days. Say some prayers and uh, stay with me. We're going to do it today. Let's do it. 200 yards exactly on the dot. So Let's start off here. Wow.
All right. Here it is. I think this is pretty much the limit. Uh, you know, seeing the size of how much that spread out, I mean, we were on the edge basically with a lot of these impacts. So I'm thinking that this is pretty much the limit, 400 yards. You know, we could push it back, say 500, and we might be able to get an occasional impact, but we're not gonna be able to consistently hit it um, just based off of the fact that here, the consistent hits were covering the entirety of the target. So I shot, I think I hit it nine times. So I believe I've got one and two impacts there, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. There you have it. Honestly, at 400 yards, the air gun kind of, in my opinion, edges out the victory because it was a little bit more consistently hitting in the same place each time. And I'm thinking, obviously, you know, in this case, we're shooting a 22, uh, and the air gun is a 357, so we have a lot more mass of lead. Uh, you know, that explains why the air gun had so much more drop. But also, to me, I'm thinking that we are retaining a lot more energy out here at 400 yards with that 357 air gun. That just kind of, uh, I think, should be obvious. So... Um, you know, you're starting out with more power, so you should be uh, finishing up with more power. Um, and, you know, 200 yards, 300 yards, uh, they were about on par with each other. But I really think that getting out here to 400 yards and that uh, air gun kind of edges it out. So hate me if you will, hate me all you want, because, you know, I, I'm, on, I'm not fair, right? I'm versing a 22 long rifle versus a 357 air gun. Kind of tried to explain it in the beginning for you guys that I know that's not the same caliber, but the point is just to show that guys, air gun technology is right on par with 22 long rifle. And that was a $5,000 22 long rifle um, that, I mean, I guess there's like a two year waiting list to get one of them right now versus the, you know, let's say couple thousand dollar uh, air gun setup that you can just call air guns of Arizona up today and uh, go ahead and buy one of those so that's kind of cool too I mean I don't know what else there is to be said I'm sure you guys will start letting me have it down in the comments below and I'm looking forward to it because I think this is really interesting and I hope it was interesting for you guys if you thought this video was cool definitely hang out with me some more check out one of the other two videos up on screen right now and I'll see you guys over there